Amagan Kali Liste Akana to the Mr. Pukai, a to list as name. Can you die personal region, Helki Kibara, die Munjo Hagana, die Putri, not an acta candidate, is it? On behalf of the party, may I give Shi Kushiba thanks to DSC. Bishi kotha nae, arubi ama bishi le bishi kotha kumulae se. Moe yate party mein ki mana se, aro PGP remindir le kumulae. Next, A pa start hoye na to, ama power dra hoye na, ama majority ke chhu hoye na, more cohesion, more understanding, the ama party coalition to support me the. जो भाभी बोला के और जिन्हें कहा वाले कि मान यूनाइटेड यूनिटी हो वो शांति हो वो अमान अगलन देश तो फालो वो ये ताजे अमान को जाते हैं किसे वन सेकेंड और वो मैं कौन मनु आजाते थकेल भी अब ना कहें कि मान ऐसे ताकेंगे कोई भी टिकट तिनारे मुंबई बिहार में भी ये जो पार्टी कंडीडेट मोटा कर बोले ये जो काम कर भी बिल्ले प्रेसिडेंट तो एपेल कर रही है बिल्ले तो को भी बिल्ले ताजी आमा को था कैसे थैंक यू
Church. That was the first theme song of the NDPP campaign. You are aware that NDPP is a party that is regional in character. It is a party that is deep rooted in regional aspirations of the Naga people. But it is also a party that has national dimensions. And at the same time, the NDPP is also a party that has a global outlook. Regional, because we represent and voice the desire of the Naga people. It is our aspiration that we will contribute towards finding a solution to the Naga political issue. Resolution of this decades-old Naga issue is at the core of the political agenda of the NDPP. National in dimension because we have a collaboration with the government in Delhi. We understand that for Nagaland to move forward, for Nagas across the state to contribute towards nation building, we have to have a national outlook, a national dimension. Collaborations with the government of India, with the national parties to bring development and all-round progress. Global in outlook because our manifesto, our constitution commits to the people that we will aspire for preservation of the environment, protection of our rich biodiversity, promotion of not only women empowerment but gender equality. These global aspirations are also the aspirations of the NDPP. In 2018, our slogan and our commitment to the Naga people was change is coming. Today, we can say with confidence that Nagaland has seen change. District, district day, town, town day, Rasta Kiman improve hoche, itu na koi levi public dikhi wo pare. This very auditorium, the Kohima Cultural Hall, is testimony of the change that this government has brought. It is the aspiration of our leadership and the NDPP that we will continue to push the boundary, to push brand Nagaland, to give opportunities to the Naga people to secure our health. The Chief Minister's health insurance scheme ensures health insurance for every citizen of the state. Every Naga citizen is covered under the health insurance scheme. The dreams and aspirations of young people, innovators, creators, students in school campuses, people who want to start businesses, farmers in the fields, inventors, in their private workshops, they will get opportunity to realize their aspirations, their ambitions to the Chief Minister's microfinancing scheme. Today, the NDPP's agenda is very different from other political parties. In 2018, when we said change is coming, we also committed that we are against VIP culture. We removed the Lal Bhattis and the number, the name plates, because for the NDPP, as the president had said, the real VIP is the citizen on the street. The VIPs are not the ones sitting on the stage or the front rows, but the real VIP is the citizen on the street. Today, Nagaland continues to move forward against VIP culture. The real high command of the NDPP is not the president and the chief minister, but the real co high command is the grassroots worker. That is why today, when you saw the ticket list, you will understand and appreciate that the view of the grassroots, the recommendation of the ACs and the regions is reflected in the list of the ticket. Amakan Naga, 
motodo fekta non verba zero kam bara kotha bara noi that is why the ticket list reflects the motto of the party as we progress with the program i will request our honorable sri tr zilai former chief minister and chairman of uda and mr kaito ai minister government of nagaland to take your times respectively for your short speeches i request mr tr zilai followed by mr kaito to please take your time Good morning to everybody. Chair President of today's program and Party Secretary General Sri Abu Mehta, Honorable Chief Minister Sri Nifurio, Party President Sri Chingwa Konya, President. Women Organization, Sri Mati Bikali A. Jimomi. All the party candidates, rank and file of the party central office, region, assembly constituency, and unit office bearers gathered here today. Media friends, ladies, and gentlemen, a very good morning to you all. Today is an auspicious occasion and a start towards better and brighter future for all of us, Gedeke and Naga people. It is at the same time a bittersweet moment today for many. But after thorough, thorough deliberation and round discussion, a tough, conscious decision has been taken. And the honors now rest on each one of us to do justice to the faith and trust that our party has reposed on us. It is particularly bitter for me and pains me deeply to see many of our fellow sitting MLAs who were not allotted our party ticket. Some due to the unavoidable seat sharing arrangement with our coalition partner, BGP party, well orders for different reasons. But I believe that hard and tough decision had to be taken based on many factors, keeping in mind the interests of the party and the people of the state. I hope that election results would validate this decision. Taking this opportunity today as we launch our campaign, besides many areas of concern which we have to collectively focus on. I want to sincerely call upon every candidate to remember that the, the formation of opposition-less UDA government last year was with a specific aim, specific aim to take forward the desire of the Naga people for an early solution to, to Naga political issue. 
unfortunately things could not materialize as we desire in this current dinner. However, it should not demoralize us, but rather drive us to bring to success for which we have committed to the people and this should remain our priority. <clears throat> let, me also, let me also make an appeal to the use of bifurcating terminal logic which is used by many to identify between the as well 21 MPF MLS who merged into NDPP and the 21 NDPP MLS. There should be no more real MLS and TR MLS within the NDPP party from this moment on. As we collect our party ticket today, pasts should not be revived and sabotage the present arrangement. As we contest under the NDPP party ticket, everyone should feel and meant to feel the sense of ownership and belongingness to this party, regardless of past events. The seat sharing arrangement with our alliance and pre poll partner, the BGP, has been successful, and we wish them the best in the 20 seats they are contesting. I'm sure that they will also give their best to come out successful in the 20 assembly constituencies. In the same manner, we should also ensure of ensure a hundred percent result in the 40 seats, as we can see in the context of our state. There is no formidable political party who poses a real threat to us. Threat to us. So, if we can fight this election with trust and respect, respect for each other, I can foresee a favorable, inevitable thumping victory for our party in this election with smooth sailing with our BJP coalition partner post-election. Under the capable and able leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister Sri Nifu Ryo and Party President Sri Chingong Konya. We are moving ahead, moving ahead in the right direction, direction. And after the election results are declared, I am confident that we will have a stable government with our pre poll alliance partner, which will be able to work towards overall development of the state. We celebrated the 75th anniversary of Indian independence last year, along with the rest of the nation, but our state still lags behind in many aspects. So our strong aim and target should be to take our state and people forward to be at par with the rest of the state in this country. It should remain our bounden duty to strive and improve the living and other standards of our people. If we contest and face our respective electorate, with this strong conviction, surely we will reach our destination sooner than later.
Every one of us has been chosen by the party as winnable candidate. Therefore, we should all strive to return with flying colors. I wish every candidate the very best and may we all meet again in the 14th House of Nagaland Legislative Assembly. Wish you all the best. Thank you and God bless. Long live NDPP. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for the time, Honorable Chief Minister, most respected President of the NDPP Party, my esteemed colleagues, party rank and file, the candidates who have been listed for the upcoming election and have been invited to be here in, the, in this uh, ticket giving ceremony. I am very lucky to have this opportunity. At this time, as we are preparing for the election, this party is getting stronger and stronger in a short span of time under the leadership of our noble chief minister and colleagues and the party leadership. to work together, hand in hand, although there might be some differences in certain stages. As far as uh, in the context of Nagaland political parties, to the party rank and file, man struggle for I said last election I was not with you. I contested from JDU, but with the request of the Chief Minister and the party, I forced to join NDPP to give a stability to the Nagar people, stable government in the whole I give up to you know. And uh, I've been blessed in the government. I don't know how much I could have made whatever responsibility is given to me. People might be happy, people might not be happy. But we who are in the government have tried this best, but uh, former speakers have said we have faced many hurdles with uh, the natural, something like natural calamity. The world condition as such, we have faced a little more than two years on COVID. We, were, we could not meet each other without masks, without uh, this, so social distancing. Was there. Even among ourselves, we are hardly, we meet each other and we could not do much for the party and for the people beyond what we are supposed to do. 
could also have been, should have been happened. But 18th year, plus Hong Pan, myself, and few others. So 18 plus, initially four of us. Initially two of us, later on in few days time. In the and common joint, and we met 34. And with that strength, we have come this far. And led by our former Chief Minister Tia Jene, who has said already, joined us in the all party government without opposition. In the later stage, Again, they feel that we should strengthen this party to serve Nagaland, people of Nagaland, with a, a strong hand. Because when we come together, we get more strength. So to make a strength, to take care of our people, 21 of them join us. Very unfortunate. Many good friends have been denied a ticket. But in politics, it happens. And uh, I, on my behalf and behalf of the party, that uh, those who could not be <coughs> accommodated should join us and let us venture together for better Nagaland. Because whatever government we form, <coughs> unless we are, uni we are united, unless unity is explored, no miracle can be achieved. Therefore, I call upon the party. This is the time that the candidates who represent you will fight to his best, but it's a time for a party to struggle. As we come back, we should take care of you, but it is your time to take care of us. Therefore, I'm appealing to the party rank and file also to be more serious, to be more uh, stronger in your uh, activities, in your respective consensus, in the overall situation. So let us give a strong support and stability to the leadership so that the government sometimes we fail to do much but sometimes there can be a miracle of in politics. <coughs> what has not been achieved, let's hope that those of us who could come back to government should also realize that we should look back at the party at the grassroots le level Complete this uh, transparency may not be able to maintain because our local situation is not very healthy because we have lots of problems because we're small people and we are divided into many factions, many groups. So the leaders are also facing lots of problems in order to address all these things to gather people together to speak for the Nagas. So here and there party might have been disappointed, but I wish those of us who are going to receive ticket from the president, let us prayfully work very hard. As you come back, realize today's meeting that we are committed to the people. But many of us, as you come back, you forget your commitment, you forget your promises to your consensus and people. Therefore, from today, let us be more responsible, let us be more united. The unity has a strength. And today, very uh, luckily, BJP and NDPP is a, in, a, in a stronger uh, coalition.
triple alliance program is there. I wish BJP and NDP relationship will be very cordial. They will come forward to assist us in building Nagaland to a greater height. If we are weak, if we are not strong, they will be discouraged since they are ruling the, the center. Just after our election, after 16, 17 months, the Indian parliament election will come. I'm confident that uh, they will be fully cooperating with us and uh, leadership should get free hand. And uh, when our relationship is very cordial, things can improve very well and I hope Naga people have come to know that this is the only part. Failure may be because of your individual, my individual, but I think people know that this is the party who, who, who should be able to protect Nagas at this time. So, party rank and file, the Honorable Chief Minister has taken lots of pain to see how we address the problem. I congratulate him also. Because of his stable ship, able leadership, we got the stable government and people are pouring, people are coming in every day, but if we are not careful, that can also fail us. Therefore, let us not be very complacent, but work together hand in hand and return back our candidates so that your wishes, your thinking can happen. But if you don't return these people, then the party also will not be in a good position and we won't be in the political uncertainty. Therefore, thank you for nominating us, President of the Committee, on behalf of all of us. Thank you so much before I receive my ticket because the invitation that we are listed. So very happy to receive a part of the ticket and uh, we'll try to see that with the party support on, and, uh, on our own we will try to come back and see each other in this form in the government, not in the opposition. Therefore, let 20 come out. But I, 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 I am speaking to my people, my friends. We must, NDP must have its own strength. On its own majority, we should score not less than 35 plus 20. Let us make a 50, 55 members house, very strong government. What we want, we will do. And this is the opportunity, though seat sharing has affected many of our friends, very good people are denied, but sometimes we are forced to compromise like this. So, with this words, thank you so much for giving time. And the, as I said, party has to take more trouble at this time. This is the election, and you are the protector of your candidate. Candidates are your candidate. Candidate cannot call you my people. After electing, he can call you my people, but he is not responsible. So give them responsible and let them come back and see that we bring certain changes to the people. With these words, thank you so much.
of this political party is to take Nagaland towards a state of excellence. To achieve excellence in all fields, entrepreneurship, agriculture, innovation, creativity, sports, music, art, in all fields under our leadership, it is our ambition to take Nagaland towards a state of excellence. This is going to be the slogan of the NDPP in this election campaign. As you have seen, NDPP also represents creativity, innovation, be it in our policies and programs, be it in our media campaign, be it in our government policies. NDPP today represents the cutting edge of Naga society. And young leaders, will bring new dreams. Young leaders will bring new energy. They will bring vibrancy, strengthen the senior statesman leadership that we have. Today, in our short speeches, we have two young leaders who will be the future of the NDPP, who will also be the future of Nagaland. We have many other young leaders, but today, 
they will represent the youth of NDPP, the symbolism of promoting young leaders. Mr. Sharingen Longkumar is one of the youngest, if not the youngest, member of the present house. But his educational background, his vast experience, his commitment and dedication, and his reputation has upped the prestige of the Nagaland Legislative Assembly. He has been an exemplary speaker of the House and history will remember him for so many new initiatives and innovative ideas that he has brought to the floor of the House. Likewise, Hekani Jakhalu represents the party's policy not of women empowerment, but gender equality. It is Hekani and Salutono who will push boundaries, push the envelope and break that glass ceiling. Years from now, as soon as possible, the sooner the better, the NDPP should aspire that we don't have a woman wing. There should be gender equality. And today, we are grateful to the President and the Chief Minister for responding to the voice of the youth, to the desire of the women, and to reflect the constitution of the party for gender equality. I request Mr. Sharingen Longkumar and Mrs. Hekani Chakalu to take your time respectively for your short speeches. Good afternoon, everyone. Respected Chairperson, Mr. Abu Mehta, who is also the Secretary General of our prestigious NTPP party, a young, dynamic, and a hard taskmaster who never ceases to enthrall all of us with his invigorating speeches with passion and enthusiasm. Our respected president of the NDPP, Mr. Chingwang Guanyak, our most honorable leader and chief minister, Mr. D.P. Rio, respected chairman of the United Democratic Alliance, Mr. T. R. Ziliang, president of the women organization, Mrs. Vitoli Jimomi, a leader in Christ, Reverend Subong Jamir, honorable ministers, honorable members, and all the party rank and file from all the assembly constituencies represented by the region office presidents from all the frontal, senior central leaders, friends, ladies and gentlemen. At the outset, I want to give thanks to our almighty for bringing us all together in good health and eager spirits for the NDPP ticket distribution ceremony. Today, many of us are blessed and fortunate to be accorded the prestigious ticket of our NDPP party. Though many have pursued this prestige, and on that, the wisdom and decision 
of our NTPP central leadership is sincerely acknowledged and deeply appreciated. I, for one, want to sincerely express my gratitude to our NTPP party president and our most magnanimous leader, Sir Nipurio, one of the chief minister, for considering the application for NTPP target party ticket for the 26th Aumundan Assembly Constituency. I was bestowed this honor and privilege during the by-election of 26th Aumundan Assembly Constituency to the 13th Nagaland Legislative House. And once again, I'm deeply grateful to all our party rank and file led by central leaders in reposing the trust of the ticket upon me and my family. The gesture shown today speaks volumes of our NTPP party ideology and principle values of our leader to nurture and encourage young aspiring leaders and I stand here today to testify that. Young aspiring leaders to nurture, to encourage for the future of our people. At the same time, I would like to congratulate our aspiring women candidates and wish them all the very success in the forthcoming general election and wishful to see them in the 14th Nagaland Legislative House. At the same time, it is a big honor and privilege to be a part of a government under the most able leadership of our Chief Minister in bringing peace and stability for progressive development of our people. Even though in the last two years or more we have faced the dreaded pandemic and we have come out successful. This opportunity to remind my fellow colleagues and myself who have been awarded our prestigious party ticket that the honor bestowed upon each of us is not for ourselves but for the thousands of elders brothers and sisters of the assembly constituency that we are representing. We have a duty towards our party and responsibility towards our people. I congratulate all of you and wish you all the very best in our endeavor to return once again to the 14th August House. Let us all remind ourselves that the pivotal position of our most merciful Father that is significant in each of our lives. We all live to His will and serve at His will. May our collective service be for the glory of his kingdom on earth as we endeavor on our respective political mission works. God bless NDPP. God bless our leader. God bless all. And let us all fight the good fight. Thank you.
Praise God. Respected Honorable Chief Minister, Mr. Nifirio, the President of the NDP Party, Mr. Chingwa Konyak, Chairman UDA, Mr. T.R. Ziliam, Secretary General and the Chairperson of this program, Mr. Abu Mehta, all the senior leaders, Presidents of the Frontal Organizations, all the party rank and file, party men and women, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so, so overwhelmed and I'm so grateful to the Honorable Chief Minister, the President of the party, the ticket committee for giving me the privilege and trusting me with the most prestigious and precious ticket and also for giving me an opportunity to stand before you all and share some few words during this very, very important program of the party. I'm also extremely grateful to the party for honoring the two most, two most important objectives laid down in the party constitution. Gender equality vis-a-vis -vis women empowerment and youth. Madam Salotonio Corsi and I are very blessed to be given this opportunity and the privilege to represent women during this fight. There's an urgent need for women to be represented in the highest decision-making body and we commit that we will give our best to come out in flying colors, to be the voice of the women and to, be, to stand for our women. Secondly, youth. I'm not a youth anymore, but I've been fighting for young people for the past 17 years. If Nagaland is to progress, if Nagaland is to go ahead, we have to nurture and build our young people. And this is also the vision of our Honorable Chief Minister. I assure you that in whatever capacity, I'll continue to fight for our young people and for our youth and for the future. Today, politics is being re redefined everywhere in the world. And I pray that God will use us during this very defining moment where our state is preparing for the next chapter for our people and our state. I pray that God will continue to use each and every one of us to work for his people and all for his glory. Thank you very much. Thank you, Speaker Sir. Thank you, Mrs. Hakani. We now come to the most important part of the program, the distribution of tickets. <coughs> this will, of course, be carried out by the President. Each of the 40 aspiring candidates who have been awarded the party ticket, I will call out your names as per the, name, the number of your constituency and you will receive the certificate and the welcome kit from the President and you will also sign the oath after which you will also read out the oath in unison, all 40 of you. So I request the team to set up the table and the chair behind where the candidates can sign. And I also request President Sir, if you can please come on stage and give away the party tickets. When you come up to the stage, you will receive the certificate first and the welcome kit. A photograph will be taken when that is given to you, after which 
you will step here, take a second solo photograph, go and sign the oath, remain standing there for the rest of your colleagues to join you, and in the end, we will take the oath in unison. To begin with, we start from 2 Dimapur 2, Mr. Muatoshi Longumar. <coughs> It will frame the certificate DSA, that is a symbolic sign. The original certificate is inside your box. Please look at the camera. Please look at the camera. No. Then the box, please. <laughs> Next, three Dimapur tree, Mrs. Hekani Chakalu. <laughs> I request the volunteers to please line up the candidates as instructed so that we reduce the time. This will be followed by 5 Gaspani 2, Mr. Zali Olio. Please line up the candidates. Mrs. Hekani Jakhalu, 3 Dimapo 3. Mr. Zalio Rio, 5 Gaspani 2. Seven Peren, Mr. T. R. Zilian. Seven Peren, Mr. T. R. Zilian. Western Angami, Mrs. Salu Junior Rose. Nine Koima Town, Dr. Nike Salie, Niki Kire. Eleven Northern Angami One, Doctor Kekrel Hulie Yome. Twelve Chemenu, Mr. R. King. Mr. Vicky Hosu. <laughs> Thirteen Pogoboto, Mr. Vicky Hosu.
14 Sauron Angami, Mr. Medo Yoka. Mr. Sixteen for zero, Mr. Niba Prono. Seventeen Chizami, Mr. KG Kenye. Chazuba, Mr. Kedicho Kamo. Eighteen Chazuba, Mr. Kudecho Kamo. Nineteen Peg, Mr. Kupota Kesho. Twenty Mallory, Mr. Z. Nusito Nute. Twenty two Arkakong, Mr. Imna Tiba. Twenty three Impur. 22 Arka Kong, Mr. Im Natiba. 23 Impur, Mr. T. N. Manen. 24 Anget Yongbang, Mr. Tongpang Ozukum. 25 Mongoya, Mr. Im Bong Ma. 25 Mongoya, Mr. Im Kong Mar. 26 Ong Len Len, Mr. Sharingen Longkumar. 27 Mokok Chung, Tao. Mr. Metsubo Jameer. 29 Jambay Kong, Mr. Temjan Menba. 27 Mokok Chung, Mr. Metsubo Jameer. 29 Jampet Kong, Mr. Temjen Menba. 34 Agunato, Mr. Ikuto Zimomi. 
34 Agunato, Mr. Ikuto Zimomi. Thirty-five Zume Boto, Mr. K.T. Sukalu. Thirty-six Sathaka, Mr. G. Kaito Aye. Thirty-six Sunnis, Mr. Matung Yatan. Forty-two Wakchin, Mr. Chingang Konyak. Forty-three Tapi, Mr. Noke Wang Nao. Forty-five Teho. Forty-two Wakching. Forty-five Teho. Mr. C. L. John. Forty-seven, a boy. Mr. Eshak Konyak. Mr. E. E. Pantiang. Forty nine Tamlu, Mr. B. S. Nanglang Pom. Mr. H. Chubachan. <coughs> 54. Tunsan Sadar 2. Mr. K. Odi Bendang Chang. 55 Tobu, Mr. N. Bongkau Konyak. 57 Tonok New, Mr. S. Heno Kiamungan. 58 Shamator Chesor, Mr. S. Kyoshu Yamchungar. 
60 Ungro Kifri, Mr. Kalem Mule Yumchunga, Eleven Northern Angami Two, Mr. Nipurio. They have already signed the pledge, so I now request our Reverend Pastor to please come and say the dedicatory prayer for our 40 candidates for the ensuing general election to the Nagaland Legislative Assembly. Shall we all bow our heads and pray? A gracious, merciful, loving Heavenly Father, we acknowledge you as our Lord in our presence. Lord, we thank you for this very important day where our leaders are given the opportunity to serve your people. We thank you, Lord, for the great call in their lives to serve your people of this great land. Lord, we pray that you will protect them from this day forward as they contest the election in their respective constituency. 
Lord, we also pray for peace in the land during the election. Lord, we pray that you will draw them to you and cause them to know and fulfill your plans and your purposes for your beloved Nagaland. Lord, we pray that you will make their hearts willing and obedient to your will. Lord, we pray and ask you to fill our leaders with godly wisdom, understanding, discernment, faithfulness, and dedication. Lord, we pray that you will grant them favor, good health, increase their faith, and prepare them to pursue your excellence. Lord, we also pray that you will bring godly people around them who would provide scriptural sound and godly counsel, for without your counsel, their plans will not succeed. Lord, we pray that you will impart your wisdom and revelation about godly leadership and help them to lead. Lord, we pray that you will help them to see the importance about keeping their hearts and the motive pure. Lord, we pray that their lives will bring glory to your name. Lord, we pray that you will help our leaders not to yield to temptations, but deliver from the evil one. Keep them safe, Lord, and their families. Loving Father, we humbly pray for mercy and forgiveness of our sins. Lord, have mercy on us. Holy are you, Lord, the Lord Almighty, who was and is and is to come. You alone are God. You are subject to none, yet all are subject to you. Yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. And now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and keep you peace. We ask this in the most powerful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.
and weeks to make this social media campaign to produce these videos I must tell you that the entire production of songwriting, video production choreography cinematography and set design were done by our Naga youngsters and contributions from our youth so we are grateful to them and we want to give them a round of applause for this social media handle YouTube they available or WhatsApp they available or so you can use these videos you can use these uh, creatives for your campaign in the days to come ladies and gentlemen as you are all aware we have a pre poll alliance with the NDPP not from now but from 2018 this partnership this collaboration continues till today. We are grateful to have in our midst representative of the BJP party, Mr. Koputo Shoe, who is the chief spokesperson of the BJP Nagaland. We thank you, sir, for joining us this afternoon. And now I give time to Mr. Shoe, chief spokesman BJP Nagaland, to deliver his speech. Thank you, Abu Mehta, Secretary General and DDP, for the time. First of all, I give glory and honor to our Almighty God, the provider and sustainer of our life, for his enduring love and mercy. Most distinguished. Distinguished Person Shiri Nifurio, the Honorable, Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland and one of the tallest and respected leader in the country today. NDTP President Sri Chingwang Konyak, UDA Chairman Sri T.R. Ziliang, Honorable Ministers, Advisors, MLA, 
distinguished party leaders and ladies and gentlemen. I am elated to be standing here representing the Bharatiya Janata Party, the largest democratic party in the country, in the midst of NDTP, the largest regional party in the region. <clears throat> At the outset, I, on behalf of BGB, extend heartiest congratulations to all the NDPP intending candidates for successful recipient of NDTP tickets for the 14th general election of the Nagaland Legislative Assembly scheduled to be held on 27 February 2023. The period of anticipation, speculations, and gross uh, guesswork are over. It has well down to the core. Among the many aspirants, you have emerged victorious, but in the process, not without leaving many heartbroken. Therefore, I should say that you all are the chosen one. Unlike previous elections, this time round, there were many ticket aspirants for both NDTP and BGB tickets. Even going to the extent of creating Chaltic scenes, nevertheless the situation was well handled and settled down and we have come to the stage all due to maturity and able leadership of our Honorable CM Sri Nifirio, NDTP President Sri Ching Wang Konyak, senior leaders and all the rank and files of both BGP and NDTP bodies. As you emerge from this hole, may the ticket which you are holding in your hand right now should not just be a ticket to the election, but it should be a ticket to the Nagaland Legislative Assembly hall. Remember that many wants to be in your place right now. Many are envying you. Therefore, do not let the opportunity fall from your hand because the opportunity like this doesn't come every day. There are rumors doing round the doing round that the BJP will set up candidates from NDA parties against NDTP. However, as a chief spokesperson of the Trusted Alliance, I want to put to rest such rumors once and for all. Such speculations and rumors are baseless and not only willful intention to malign the good image of BGB but also to jeopardize the NDTP and BGB. NDTP BGP Alliance partner bra Delhi de itula ticket Alliance la ticket ase guna bishi mangi gena bere ase loi gena bi ai ase sob dikhi ase itu to sob misa ase ami gan Nagaland to khali Nagaland Nagaland to khali NDTP aru BGP ase central leadership clear cut alliance leadership clear cut government form I am a BGB candidate loaded. I am a BGB candidate loaded. I am a 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 
itu kang puribo abuni hanbi ami kang central leadership kan ami kang ke inaka alliance bona kena ekdom next government de ami kang lawa leader do chief minister chief ni purio jona bona kena rakhi dikina ami kang lawa government ji holi bi aibo bona bona dia re ami kang ticket kan bi bisi bona boli je inaka tam de manu sob ike alliance ai boli mon kena bisi जगरा गुरे आसे इतो कारणे सो मानु आमी गाला एलाइंस लगातो मेंटेन गुरे किना इतो कुत्ते आपण याला जगा कुम मधे बीजेपी भी थाकी वो तादे मोरम बरा आपण यहां भी बीजेपी के वोट गुरे दिबी आमी गान भी कुत्ते एनडीपी गान पाइके नासे आमी गान भी सब मन दिकिना काम करबो कोइना आमी जो पार्टी गान लगासे प्रजन आइडिया से लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट प्लीज मेंटेन द सेंसिटिविटी ऑफ बीजेपी and NDTP alliance, let us all continuously endeavor to remain intact, not only pre-election, but post-election as well. As you prepare to enter the battlefield, I wish NDTP candidates all the very best for ensuing elections. May the best be reserved for you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, sir for sharing your views and expressing the message of the BJP at our forum. Now we come to the most important part of the program, the speech to be delivered by our Honorable Chief Minister. Let us all rise and give him a round of applause as we give time to him for his speech. Thank you, Mr. Abu Mehta, Secretary General, who is chairing our meeting. Our respected President NDPP, Mr. Chiwang Konyak, his colleagues of his peers, and all the rank and files of NDPP, our respected T.R. Zilin, the chairman of UDA, and respected and my colleagues, ministers, our respected Reverend Supong Mary, Pastor de Mabur Christian Fellowship, and Mr. Kubuto Suhe, the Chief Spokesperson of BGP and BGP friends who are here. My colleagues in the party of NDPP, men and women, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen. I praise God Almighty for this wonderful time to come together in this program of launching of the campaign for 2023 to the Nagaland Legislative Assembly and ticket ceremony. And I want to congratulate all the selected and awarded candidates of the NDPP. I want to thank my honorable colleagues, elected members of the 13th House who had given me their fullest support and make me your leader in the house. As Chief Minister, 
you had given your cooperation to me and support and the support from the alliance bgp party and also my party and dpp for which by the grace of god we could provide stable government and also complete the 13th house term not least to say we have come together for one purpose that was for naga political issue which we could not achieve it. i feel that we played a part effectively as a facilitators but because of this unity among the nationalist groups naga nationalist group and also the state leaders and public in general but now that the negotiation parties have come together i have hope that in the near future if we can provide a stable government that wish and dream may come in this we have promised even in our members festo that when solution come naga political issue is resolved we time and again say that we will pave the way for the alternative arrangement an agreement which is honorable acceptable and inclusive unfortunately that could not be achieved and therefore since the election is now for the nagaland state general election we have come together here and launching our campaign and also awarding the aspirant candidates our ticket i want to give my appreciation for bgp high command trusting in our party and dpp the support in the five years government in the 13th house and also in this coming election their commitment as decided seat sharing of 40 for ndpp and 20 for bgp from day one the decision taken the high command had remained firm and now it has been implemented so i want to give my thanks and appreciation to our alliance bgp and i was uh, thrilled and happy that our friend kupto shahid the chief spokesperson had also assured us for that i thank him personally on a part in this aspirant candidates we face a lot of hardship after working successfully in the government as successful terms coming to the ticket seekers and distribution distribution exercise was very painful but we had listened to the grassroots workers to the party organizations of ndpp their recommendations their findings and we had listened to the voices of the public and the party recommendations that's how you are chosen you are awarded a party ticket 
it is a privilege for you to have been awarded. But privilege <coughs> comes with responsibilities. And therefore, it is your bonded duty to work very hard and then get yourself elected. So, as already mentioned, as per our manifesto, it is our privilege. It is an opportunity for the party to implement our commitment of providing women candidates, gender equality, and also our women's, we have to give respect, and women has to be provided a platform. We got two very potential candidates who has maximum chance of winning. And for their merit and recommendations from their respective constituencies and people who know them in person of Salutario, Grosse and Ekhani Jakalo. I'm extremely happy that our party ticket committee could do justice to our vision to provide the gender equality and also to uplift the women. And therefore, together we will work and I want to thank for taking a bold step to take the challenges to serve the party as well as the public. Two interesting things had happened this two nights was the last coming home of Mr. T.N. Manen who came and joined us. And I'm extremely grateful to the party for accepting him and also his homecoming. And he is a very intellectual person and very hardworking, enthusiastic person. I'm sure he will return and serve in the assembly together. The second part was the Agunato. We had announced ticket for our colleague, Mr. Pukai. But he himself volunteered to vacate seat on hell ground. And Mr. Yukuto was given the offer and then he could only reach last night and made himself available to the party and present here. So everybody who has joined us for the first time, you are welcome home and welcome to the party. And I am sure we together will make a great team to serve our people. God help us. In this dinner, because of COVID-19, we lost almost two years and definitely one and a half year. So we had uh, not been able to achieve what we could. As mentioned by Secretary General Mr. Abu Mehta, our achievements are many and we are trying to bring it out a book not everything, but important projects which we had made it successful. And also achievements, if we have a record, then all what we are discussing today, when you go to the people, you should let the people know what is our vision, what we are doing, and what achievement we have. 
And that's why this government, who committed to bring change, are seeing some changes as mentioned. This capital cultural hall was abandoned for many years, but urgently we had put our mind and invest and this come into a national and international standard. And that's how we could quietly and peacefully sit and have these kind of meetings. So it is great. During our time, in this term alone, we had created many districts from Tsevenyu, Chomogetima, New Land to Samatur, Noklak. Some people think that it is wrong to make small districts. But you should know that Nagaland is a tribal state. And districts are given on the line of the Travels who had the proximity and closeness and then the topography. So when population grows bigger, larger, and when they inspire for their own district, I think it is a duty for the state government to see the viabilities and also to consider to give this district. So there may be some people who continue to criticize, but we have reason to do these things, and therefore uh, it is an achievement, though for some it may be different. Now, few things we have to take into the people. Abu Meta had said, the Chief Minister Health Insurance Schemes these are very good schemes and it has been told that all the honorable members, the party leaders in the district, in the constituencies, you should take this to the people for their own sake and for the health of the, uh, the state. You are aware in this, government servants can spend 20 lakhs per year in a family for their medical treatments. And you have, you have to uh, only go to hospital to show your health card, or if you don't have, you will get yourself registered, and the hospital will contact the department, the authority, and will make the health card. And you will have to see the bills which you have to sign. That they will claim from the insurance company. For the citizens in general, you will get 5 lakhs per family in a year. And so there will be a big help. You are aware, our people, when they are sick and when they don't have money, they go to borrow. Or they come to the MLA, or the officers, or their relatives. But when you have these health cards, then they can walk straight to the hospital for treatment. So this should be told to the people. The second is the microfinancing. The young people, the youth, who want to do entrepreneurship, small businesses, also the farmers or self-help groups. You can get loan for 15 lakhs. And in this, you only have to pay 10% as a beneficiary. And 60% loan will be given by the bank. And the state will provide 30% to cover your interest and your to help you to use only the principle. 
and it is payable after seven years so that you grow, you multiply your money. And when government has taken care of the interest, and then you can do a lot of things. If you have bigger schemes and you have the commitment to do, the bank is willing to come forward to help our youth. So I want to, you to know this and then uh, talk to the constituency, uh, farmers and young and parents. Here, our common minimum program, we had uh, all these documents will be given to you, so I will not go into the details because we have time constraint. But I want to explain it, how the, among the achievements, what I want to ask to remember is the little contribution the honorable members of the 13th House made was the speaker had left for his uh, some emergency meeting, but Nagaland Legislators Christian Fellowship had built a medium sized church where all the honorable members give contribution for furnishing and all the arrangement and it was dedicated by Reverend uh, Reverend uh, Geo, the General Secretary of NBCC. I feel it is very important as mentioned in our constitution we believe in God that we are representing the inspiration of the Nagas and we want God to lead us so that we do His will and we go, we go no wrong. Then we did got two medical colleges, one in Kohima, which will be uh, starting in the next, in the coming academic session. This will be a great help and one in Mon district which is also started and we are trying to find a partner. <clears throat> the other day when I talked and asked Honorable Home Minister Amit Shahji and even Honorable Prime Minister promised to visit our state before election. And in that wish list, when Honorable Prime Minister come, we want him to announce certain pending projects. <coughs> but he could not make it because they were very busy in campaigning in other states. But Honorable Home Minister Amit Shahji promised that those pending projects or the wish projects, whatever is possible, we will come out in the common minimum program. Therefore, take message to our BGP friends so that when we draw the common minimum program for our election manifesto. All these priorities should be set in our common minimum program so that we can achieve. We cannot uh, go on fooling people and therefore I hope this will come true. Now we are assembled here today awarding, awarded the party ticket and also launch the campaign. You'll be moving out from today and tomorrow and back home on Sunday particularly you should have proper prayer and fellowship with your people and your church where you belong. 
and most of us and I feel all of us should find your munition on Monday. That will be the sixth. That is the latest. I mean, uh, we have to do at the earliest. And while filing, as mentioned, cautioning, affidavit is very important. You cannot put any wrong or presumptions. It has to be factual things, otherwise it can go against you. After this, for like uh, Kohima uh, region, we are going to party office and the members we are going to meet. And if sufficient time is there, we will also take up strategies how to campaign in the region. Likewise, our partners, BGP Alliance, in the district, we also should set up coordination committee for joint campaigns also. It will not be able to go to nook and corners, but at least in the district headquarters, I think there should be a joint campaign. And when central leaders come, uh, we should be informed so that we can also take part. So that there is uh, uh, alliance spirit is kept alive and then full trust because as mentioned there is no <coughs> real party who can who is going to compete with us it is the bgp and the ntpp and therefore god's willing we will again take over the government and we hope that things will go smoothly. I want to thank my BGP partners, my NDPP party men and women, and particularly uh, my president, Mr. Chiwang, and his colleagues, the frontier organizations, and my colleagues in the government, elected members, for your Continue support and trusting in me as your leader. I'm humbled. Yes, all of you had spoken very kind words to me. And if God's willing, I will go as a leader and God's willing will form government again. And therefore, I need your support and I need your cooperation to run a smooth coordinating, I mean, uh, alliance government in the campaign also and in the government. <clears throat> so, with these words, my best wishes to all the candidates of NDPP. And I also convey my best wishes to our BGP uh, candidates or in the 20 seats and I hope that we will have a very successful campaign and a result, a victorious result. I don't want our election campaign to be a fight. It is not a fighting uh, kind of thing, but it is a campaign. It is a democratic process and it is a friendly fight. Even they are our oppositions. So, God help us and we hope that we'll meet, meet again with victory colors and take over the government. So, God bless. Oh, everybody, facta non verba, deeds and not words. God bless. Thank you. for showing us the way with humility, with your wisdom and your statesmanship leadership. As we come to the end of the program, I now request our senior leader and cabinet minister, 
Mr. Metsubo Jamil, to please come forward, pronounce the vote of thanks, and also share the concluding remarks. <coughs> Respected Chairperson, most respected Honorable Chief Minister and our leader, Shin Nifurio, respected President of the party, Chairman UDA, my dear party workers and respected colleagues and family members who are gathered here today to celebrate our selection to represent and be candidates of the most powerful party in the state led by the ablest leader of our state, Shri Nifurio. Before I convey my motion of thanks, I would like to take this privilege to make mention a few words of the last five years that has passed by us. I remember the times of great grief and sorrow that we have shared with the families who had lost their near and dear ones. Also, I remember the joyous moments that this party has shared. Many families have celebrated their children's marriages. Many families have been blessed with newborns and most of all, Many of us has been blessed by God to be a part of our blessed NTPP family. I remember the successes and the unfulfilled dreams of our Naga people, especially the much long and prayed for Naga solution. We have seen so much improvement and streamlining in governance, especially in the employment sector. There have been many criticisms of our governance, however the developments that have been initiated are black and white. Witnesses of the capable leadership of our leader, Sri Nifirio, and Andres' leadership, we will come out victorious in the battle that we who are here today know best how to fight. Since as politicians, this is the tournament that our body and soul yearns to fight. By God's grace, I pray that all of us return victorious and pray for God's providence for this. No matter what, win or lose, we fight the battle together and the 40 of us will always remain as colleagues and friends. In conclusion, with the blessings of the party president, Chingwan Konya, and our honorable chief minister and our leader, Shri Firio, I'd like to thank the party for organizing this ticket issue program. I would also like to thank the party workers, media fraternity, and respected party delegation who has come from far and near to grace this occasion. Though many have aspired for the ticket, it has not been possible to accommodate every aspirant. However, we hope their moral support will be toward us. I would like to congratulate all of us for having been able to obtain the party ticket. I also thank the BJP for having come into our alliance. I would like to make a mention of the presence of Mr. Kubuto Shohei. The presence of you and your party will always be appreciated in all the party programs and activities. May God bless all of us in this noble battle to gain the people's mandate and to serve them. Thank you and long live our party president, Sri Kiwan Konyak. Long live our noble leader, Sri Nifirio. And long live our beloved NDPB party. Thank you so much. God bless all of us. Thank you very much, sir. We now close the program. With that concluding remarks, we wish each and every one of you all the best. May God continue to armor and protect us. Long live NDPP Facta Non Verba. We will now, as we disperse, hear the colors of Nagaland. To do Thaishi, Nationalist Democratic Progressive Party Laga Aji. Mohalla Kohimade, National Capital Cultural Hall, Te Abu Metara Chair Kurina. 40 NDPP candidates can get ticket seats distribute Kuridia or officially idu officiate Kurigina program to successfully Kotong Kuridia Gani. Itia man itia karne mani thagi wa rokho borne sai thagi bi Hornbill TV.
Ajikali Langa Bacha or Adolescent Can Traditional or Nutun Forms of Digital Media.